You can create an epigenetic environment that you will pass on to your child, basically undoing whatever you want to do, right? As far as more muscle mass for the offspring, all that code gets passed down. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is by G0, because you know I'm keeping a G by still recording and working on vacation. So I excuse the, you know, the bullshit setup, but here's your ASMR sip. I didn't forget about this. Today I'm going to be going in to genetics. Genetics this, genetics that, you don't have the genetics. Can you go against your genetics? That's what I'm going to be going into. So you go online and there's a bunch of dubby downers these days of, oh, you know, you don't have the genetics, why even try, da 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 da. And I just think it's funny because I'm like the epitome or epitome. Nope. I think I'm the epitome of like, you can go against your genetics. I'll have Andrew throw up my three pinned Instagram posts at Russo Lifts, go follow and DM me there. But I went from that to picture of that and then video proof that, you know, that's not just a modified picture. And then obviously you see me on camera. I'm not the little long distance runner that started this channel that all my OGs that follow me forever know the road I've walked. So it kind of pisses me off. There's so many dubby downers these days. Oh, if you don't have the genetics, like don't even try. It's your life. You do what you want with it, right? So that's that's kind of what I live by. But hey, if you want to trust all the other people who have mounted to nothing in the comment section, then go for it. But today I'm going to be going into, can you go against your genetics? Or more specifically, scientifically speaking, can you modify your epigenetics? Andrew, throw up a definition of epigenetics. Can you modify your epigenetics? Because I got in a big argument about epigenetics. You cannot modify your actual genetic code. However, you can modify your epigenetic code, which is based on environment. You lift and create the environment and the stress and the food and everything, and you modify your epigenetics. You can change epigenetics. I am living proof. My dad is a college level division one distance runner, a collegiate distance running coach, coached multiple state champions. I have a one long distance running genetics. I distance ran for a while. I liked wrestling. I like the mixed martial arts in general. And I'm a bipolar male that needs exercise to regulate his mood. So instead of running, I decided to do bodybuilding. Bodybuilding being more efficacious in the metaverse as far as, you know, everyone's an RPG character in the metaverse and it's rated on all these stats. Everyone respects the physique more despite long distance running being the harder activity showing more mental toughness in my opinion after doing both. You know bodybuilding physique is a much more better monetary asset that I decided to build. I think when I first started people were like oh you'll never break over 200 pounds. There's a video of me at 265 pounds, you know, like all this shit. Everyone tries to cap you these days. <laughs> I'm like, it's like the meme. I have no limitations. You didn't learn your limitations. I have no limitations. It's, it's just like, come on. Like not everyone is obviously going to have the prettiest muscle insertions or the best, you know, flow of the physique or whatever the fuck and all that shit means. But anyone can gain significant amounts of lean body mass each year. Actual put on lean tissue if you do the right pharmacology, the right diet, the right sleep, and obviously you train like a beast. So can you go against your genetic code? Yeah, you can create an epigenetic environment that you will pass on to your child, basically undoing whatever you want to do right as far as more muscle mass for the offspring all that code gets passed down also really bad stuff too that's in the environment that they're black pill i'm making the black pill channel everyone's yelling at me russo enough with these conspiracies enough with Anyways, I digress. I digress. Basically, what I'm saying is you can modify your epigenetics. You can 100% become a bodybuilder if you're a skinny long distance runner. If you don't think you can, I'm a walking example of you can. And I'll compete on a local show with Classic and I'll be able to stand with top four at a local Classic Physique show. Weigh 265 pounds. I'm currently 235 pounds and I will shred down and compete around 195 on stage. And I will stand toe to toe with guys who have been big their entire 
entire life when I was a little guy. 100% a little, 135 to 145 pound wrestler. I was ranked in Western PA as a wrestler at 145 pounds. I got fourth out of a 20 man bracket in the WPIL. Like I am the walking testament that you can put your mind to it, you can do it. So I'm tired of seeing all these dudes go around because they're lazy as fuck and I'm not that, oh, you know, it's cause you like, what are they gonna say when I'm done with this cut? I'm very interested to see where all the negativity goes of I took too long or whatever. So to sum up this little rant, it's like if you're that guy on the other side of the screen and you've been told that, oh, you don't have the genetics, blah, 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 blah. Go look at yourself in the mirror. Go look at yourself in the mirror. Now you can't change the way you arguably can with sight enhancement oil, but let's, let's just do it in general. You can't change the way your muscle insertions appear. But year after year, you can accumulate more lean body mass, more muscle tissue. And when you finally shred it up after, you know, bulking for five, six years, you will look like a completely different person. You are not stuck as the little guy. 100% I've met so many dudes who have gone against their epigenetics. And when they have a child, they will pass down that epigenetic code that got transcripted because they created the hardcore environment to custom their body to hold more amount of tissue issue thus their offspring gets that so my offspring will get elite level blood pressure genetics from cross country will get all the elite level heart genetics and then i have also accumulated all the tissue that will all be epigenetics sure i had genetic code for long distance running 100 percent, but i had nothing to build muscle look at me right no one no one would think that i'd be looking like this with delts popping out on minimal enhancement i haven't even blasted shit yet everyone's excited for when i blast shit you don't need a lot of androgens you need to put your in a caloric surplus for a long period of time train heavy progressive overload and a bit of sarcoplasmic training every once in a while you can 100 go very far even at your starting point it's like black pilled you started lower you can still catch up